for an example, I, like I think a year or two back, y'all had a House of Max reunion party. I wanted to go so bad, and I was so mad, and I missed it. And everyone told me it was so much fun. It felt like football was so loud, no army. People just danced the whole day and the whole night. I'm like, I, I, that, and I'm like, I need that essence of what it really feels like. I'm gonna tell you what happened at that party. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what happened at that party, and there was a cameraman in there. I bet he ain't posted up. He couldn't post it up. Why? Because he explained to me what what was wrong. And I told him, you actually got to see the true meaning of battles. The true meaning of battles, you can't catch it on camera at one time. You can't. You have to be somewhat exclusive. And this, I feel like this. The Regal Theater had had his place to where that was one of the best places to where you could have got the best footage, but he was at the wrong place. He was at the wrong, he was in the wrong place, but at the right time. He couldn't catch it because it was five or six battles going on at one time. <laughs> there was, okay, we're up for the get scenario. The party started at eight. Okay. It ended at two. It was me, R.P. Boo, mm -hmm. DJ Dion, DJ Sluggo. And my guy, DJ Dave, came in and opened up. Dave spent from 8 until like uh, 10. Okay. Uh, Dion kicked it off. And then Sluggo came in. Sluggo did his thing, but it was more of mixed music. But as it was going on, the crowd enjoyed itself. Different dance groups came in, the U5Us, the main attractions, the um, k 5 Nines. Everybody have a nice time. So as the party going on, I'm steady again. Man, where you gonna get on? Where you gonna get on? Hold on. Man, we gonna hear you now. My wife saw the B was like, where you gonna get on? Like, hold on. I know what time to get on. So I got on like about a 12.40. Yeah, I got about 12.40. Mm -hmm. So my wife was sitting in the back. And so they gave me a call to the DJ booth. So they said, come on to the tables. So as I get on, this is what I hear from my wife after it was over. She say, what did you just do? She say, I never seen people just run to the floor just like that. Say, I'm a house head, but never seen people run to the floor just like that. A couple of guys, she said she was coming, and she coming, they heard me play the first track, say, come on, bro, it's that time, let's do this. <laughs> and it was guys from each side of the wall coming to, to the floor and battle. And the rest was history. And she said she never seen that before. Even the guy, Ronnie Sloan, that actually the president of House of Magic was like, what happened? It was just that many people just going at it. And it was a nice turnout. So the cameraman couldn't get in the circles. That was the problem. The circles was too crowded because everybody was trying to get from one circle to another circle. So they didn't give a fuck about no camera. That was the problem. <laughs> and I've been through that a few times, but... Right, it's, 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 that's it's, why I say some things are best just kept in memory. But sometimes, even if I would have caught a little bit, it's like you still get a little taste of what's really going down in the I'm gonna tell you like this what he messed up at? He didn't go up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Voila, that's all you had to do was go up the stairs. That's all you had to do hey, was walk up the stairs and zoom down. Because there's the door, there's a, uh, the bar, yeah. in the middle, there's the DJ booth, and whatever circle you could have get all that you had to do was zoom in. That's exactly what I would have You did. didn't go up the stairs. If you did and you hold out on that footage, ain't nothing else to talk about. We gonna leave that at that. Oh, look at here. Corky Straws. Corky. Tracks man. 
<laughs> on his bad hair day. <laughs> uh, check this out. The amount of tracks, man. Support the cause. It's nice heat on there. It ain't no one genre of music. It's all just come on, man. And support the cause. It's not footwork tracks. It's, I don't consider it as footwork tracks. It's music. It's music. It's music. It's music. And it's number one worldwide. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, my copy. He, he ran out of vinyl, so he gave the CD, so that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, with all that's being established now, and that full works on a whole new another level, Yo, some of your tracks is on Bangs of Words Volume 1. Congratulations. You know, playing the muse, shout outs to him. Everybody keep asking me, like, why RP not on tour? Like, why he ain't overseas what what was side and them doing? They saying the same thing about Trashman, like, why y'all not on tour? Uh for 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 me not being on tour, it's more of a uh, decision that I came up with to what uh, I don't want to go on tour yet. It's uh uh, it's, it's, I had to start at home. Okay. I had, to, I had to start at home first. And that's the, that's the ultimate plan. For me to, to give back and those DJs and those footworkers that, that say at least this is what I want. The stuff that you deserve, you ain't even know what into it yet. Because you ain't the arm amongst each other. The only thing you gotta do is, is follow the events that I do. Just come in and everything else will unfold. So when you do get out there, you was you gotta put yourself out there and advertise yourself. And when you do, I will give you the, the time, the place to do it. And those who you just gotta live it. And somebody else is gonna tell you. For instance, like me talking to this camera. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I look like, but that camera do. The, the man holding that camera know exactly what I look like. But at the same time, when you press stop, edit, and play back, so now when I see it, I get to see exactly what I said because I lived it. I'm li the camera is only catching the moment. So when you out doing what you do, don't worry about the results. Those who see, see the results. Exactly. So as we see the results, you that's how you live your life. You gotta go in, with blind faith and have faith at the end of the day and say, give God give me strength to do what it, I need to do. When they say one accord, one accord means groups of people on the same like of mind. Once you do that, you uplift and you hold each other to say, well, okay, cool, this is, I see exactly what it is. It's unity. If you don't have no unity, when you got other people's and other tribes and whatever else, it's still called a cult because one or two people is the true meaning of the word cult is people that are gathered with the same like a man. Yeah. The other people is the same thing you do with footworkers. Same thing. It's just how good you look. Everybody is fighting for the king spot. Go if it was a such thing as being the king of that, do you not know how fast you will be taken off your throne, as I said, just by a normal person walking in and with a with a mental state to say, I know the difference between garbage and good. Mm -hmm. You might think you the best, but the person might come over and say, Sam, for you to move on. They, about, no nah, man, we, it's too much egos, too too many people. So learn the love of it as and the, the true art of it. It's basically saying something you got to enjoy, but and also respect their craft of how they how they perfect their art too. Cause I respect all music, cause music is music. As long as it keeps it keeps me bumping and up to beat enough to par, it makes me feel some from the music. Then I ain't got nothing to say. It's like hey, <laughs> that's 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 how see people try to figure me out, but you don't try to figure me out. Do, 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 do not try to figure me out. I know what the meaning of the word science means. A, a, a scientist couldn't get it. Do not, do not try to figure me out. And my thing is, I haven't had people 
that that said they just like me, whatever else. I had a statement to what one of the uh, DJ buddy said that it was time to our people that was so called in this scene, this industry that we do from from dancers to track makers that actually said they didn't like my music or this track was whack. And I kind of took offense to it, but I had to say, what? Wait a minute, hold on. Oh, I understand why. Oh, plain easy something. Mm -hmm. Because I play all different types of styles. That's what y'all haven't seen me do. It's just, it goes along with the crap. If you don't study what you're trying to get into, it's gonna be some tracks that's gonna come out of the, that was there before it got its title to it. It's like questionable. But once you learn it, when it goes time to, in footwork, what we know of in here in Chicago, that's where it comes with the Ant Browns. That's what it comes with the Knicks because these were people that was getting around and people would say, okay, cool, we know where that style comes from, but now we gotta go back and get the crap. That's how Prince, J. Ron, and King the Charles. King Charles and the, 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 the Mad Dolls, I saw them going, talking to these people. And they, they, they didn't get into say, I could do this. They got into study the craft and learn the love of what they heard from these people. Look where they at right now. Don't knock the hustle. They did their homework. So at the end of the day, when a person say, man, okay, I'm gonna get into these tracks and do these tracks, do your tracks. But if you don't know who R.P. Boo is, ask the question. If it's something that you wanna know, I will tell you. Well. It's gonna be it's gonna be plenty more interview, but it's just what you get out of what your plot is. If your plot to be the best at it, and you feel that you could be better than me, go ahead. Because I'm already established. What can you do? You can make a name for yourself. That's what you need to do. But be humble about who you are. But at yeah. the end of the day, don't say if it wasn't for our people, I would have been this. If it wasn't for the creator, you would and me both wouldn't be what we at. It's the creator and what we do and what we give thanks to. It's what he brings up out of is what we become. That's all it is. So that's who I give my credit to. The, the, my heavenly father God. That's it. Man, I, you know what, I I cannot knock that off. I really respect that, you know. So the next time you ever say, well, you can put somebody on, I can just look at you and say, okay, cool. But guess what? I know you want to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, only, I'm only saying it because I'm, 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 I'm hearing it. I'm not hearing it from somebody else. I'm hearing it straight from that from that person. But if you got something direct to say, say it direct to them. Don't let somebody else that got common sense hear you or see you say that. And don't say somebody else put that post up on your Facebook page. No, you put that stuff up yourself. But you 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 got a mean following. Those I know some people out here got some mean following. But for some reason, you got some disappointed people that come at it. But at the same time, it ain't about that. You got the camera, you hold the space. That's all you had to worry about. The proof's in the pudding right here that's on the all, camera. That's all you had to worry You did what you had to do. I thought you would sit back and say, that's no dumb motherfuckers. That's what he and his, that's what he and she said. Y'all some dumb motherfuckers. It's what you you get back what you put in. If you not get back nothing, that's what you was put in. No. At the end of the day, as long as I'm happy within the spirit, I don't care about no money. Cause guess what? I'm set. I got social security coming back. I got a 401k. I got a pension set. And for those who don't understand. You know what retirement mean? Retirement mean a reduction in pay. That's all retirement mean. So telling you men out here, you have to work to get you back. That's the truth of all. That's the truth of life, That's man. That's the truth of life. So what is it that I can do being in the industry and being controlled to what? I have no control over my life. Just because I want to be rich. That was the whole purpose. That was the whole purpose, to be rich. 
But at the same time, you got some people that the, believe in you. Have somebody tell me what I have to do and when to do it. That said, right now because you got that, I thought about that. I can't do it. But that, but that's a that's a that's a sacrifice to what uh, is on your own free will and accord. They're not gonna, they ain't nobody gonna sit back and get mad at me because I speak the truth. And no one can knock of what you feel and what's your decision they don't you want care. to do. They, they don't care. And they're gonna be like, some people might take the truth and say, okay, cool, but this is what you want. If that's what you want, I'm giving you ways to go get it, but it's up to you of how you wanna do it and how you wanna live your life. But at the same time, though, if, if you don't have no children and you wanna pursue a career, man, Pursue your career and go for it. It's about your career. You pursue it. And believe me, a career and dealing with entertainment, it really calls for lack of not having a family. If you are the only child or you have no children, go pursue it because you will be happy, I guarantee you, because you don't have to say it's no excuse for you not having it. It's just you gotta, you gotta be willing to work and put good work into it, but don't look at the end of the day what the outcome of the work gonna be. You have to live it. Of that's the, you have to live. That's have a, a sane mind right. because if you figure you try to go ahead and become a multimillionaire, you gotta lose before you gain. Exactly. It's, it's all about the investment. You gotta worry about your your entourage and whatever else. It all plays its part. A lot of people out here ain't happy, but that's all them. Like me, for an example, like I've been recording for five years, and I never thought I would talk to great DJs that been in the game, so like yourself and Traxman and DJ Rashad and Spin and How's everybody doing today? Meet the people from Just Jam, Camera Crew from London, and. All that is it's, it's a big honor to me. Man, man. send it out, man. Love to just jam. Man, y'all do y'all thing. So I, 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 I'm, I'm liking those people, man. I'm loving them. And even send it to Mike Perry, Dennis, everybody who gave us a chance and we did work with Honest John. I'm sending those shots, man. It's, 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 it's so much stuff out here still, but it's still young in the game. Lit City, send out, man. Shot to my man, Hyman. Wheels, uh, the, the, my, my girl Venus Jasmine in, in the Bronx in Brooklyn, send it out mad love to them. To Dave Barnes, uh, Dion, Milton, Sluggo, the Shots, the, the man, the Maddies, you got the, the, the Earls, you got the TYs, you got the Jalen. Uh, hey, big ups to Jalen. Big ups to Jalen. See, uh, I'm about to see the summer. Man, uh, <laughs> It's, it's a lot of people out here, I can't, I, man, everybody, if you doing your thing, if people might sit back and say, you a snake, you ain't no good, I'm saying, I'm mad, love to see you, because you doing something. Everything that you do ain't gonna be perfect, but you doing something. And for what I'm saying, it's for a cause. It might not be my cause, but you doing it for a cause. And you got people that's liking it. Is the majority of the vote win. You got some people that's out here, that don't understand that they stupid, but hey, they live a life. You can't take away life. You have to enjoy it. Well, with that being said, RP, I really appreciate this interview and I appreciate your time, you know, for taking the time to really get this interview. This will all be put up live. There's no edits. No my, edits allowed like your tape. <laughs> my, my first thing is before we sign up off of this, be looking out for our uh, no edits allowed. No edits allowed is not going to be only me. It's going to be more. It's going to be for DJs. Then we got uh, 321. 321 is for DJs. Then I got a, a nice idea for a lot of the footworkers and stuff that's going to that's gonna pay harmless to people. We're going to have, we're going to turn this into an entertainment city and capital. And those, it's time to have those that came before us give to say, well, at least if I couldn't get to what I thought, I would give back to CIC because Chicago got it's 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 a it's a gold mine. It's just you eliminate the hate, you'll see it. It's just everybody can't get it. Like they say, signing off with this one.
Mm-hmm. As it say, many are called, but few are chosen. Mm. A-R-P-E-B-U I'm out <laughs> Peace out Quash 5 Watch the witness <laughs> Oh man